Hello, I'm Mr. Mike from the Sherburn Public Library here with another episode of Storytime. We're going to start out with a new poem today called February is Fun. February has so much to do in such a very short time. The month only has 28 days or sometimes 29. Groundhogs, Valentines, and Presidents too. Looking for shadows and giving our hearts. February has so much to do. Speaking of groundhogs, I have a song about a groundhog. Mr. Groundhog, Mr. Groundhog, are you there? Are you there? Will you see your shadow? Will you see your shadow? Groundhog Day, Groundhog Day. I wonder if any groundhogs saw their shadows. Let's try that again. You can put up a little groundhog paw with me. Here we go. Mr. Groundhog, Mr. Groundhog, are you there? Are you there? Will you see your shadow? Will you see your shadow? Groundhog Day, Groundhog Day. Okay. And in our poem, we talked about Valentine's. We're going to count our valentines. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And what color are the valentines? They are red. So we're, instead of singing little, we're going to sing one red, two red. See if you can do that with me. Here we go. One red, two red, three red valentines, four red, five red, six red valentines, seven red, eight red, nine red valentines, ten red valentines. Great. Okay. So our book today is about a groundhog. But instead of Groundhog Day, this says Ground Hug Day. Can you give yourself a hug? Let's sing our song about Mr. Groundhog again. Mr. Groundhog, Mr. Groundhog, are you there? Are you there? Will you see your shadow? Will you see your shadow? Groundhog Day, Groundhog Day. And like I said, our book is a little bit different. Groundhog Day, written by Anne-Marie Pace, illustrated by Christopher Denise. Oh, look. They're out in the field. No, there was a page I was missing. Oh, that's the page I wanted to show you. See the groundhog? Got his cup of coffee and he's looking at the calendar. Hmm. There they are out in the field. Valentine's Day was only two weeks away and Moose was planning a grand party. Look at all the animals there. Do you know what that one is? It's a squirrel. And over here we have a bunny, and he's a moose. And there's a porcupine. You need Valentine balloons, said squirrel, and Valentine cards, said bunny. And don't forget the Valentine hugs, pointed out porcupine. Would it be safe to hug a porcupine? Not really. Everyone has to come to my party, said Moose. Uh-oh, Bunny said. That's a problem. What's a problem, Moose asked. Tomorrow is Groundhog Day, Bunny said. If Groundhog sees his shadow, he'll go back into his hole for six more weeks. He won't be awake on February 14th. Good point, Moose said. If we stop him from seeing his shadow, then he can come to my party. 
you think they'll be able to stop him from seeing his shadow? I don't know. I've got it, said Squirrel. I'll sneak into his hole and change his calendar so he won't know it's February 2nd. <gasps> Your chattering will wake him up, said Porcupine. I'll blindfold him when he comes out. Pages are sticking together today. Your quills might poke him in the eye, said Bunny. I'll put up a tent over his hole. He'll know he's not outside, Moose said. I'll sit on his ho hole so he can't come out at all. Do you think any of those ideas will work? I don't know. Calendar, moose, blindfold, moose, tent, moose, bellowed moose. Are they agreeing or arguing? Sounds like they're arguing. The animals bickered all night long. Bickered means arguing. They didn't notice that the black, they didn't notice the black sky turning gray. They didn't notice the pink light of morning creeping over the hills, and they didn't notice Groundhog's nose twitching at the entrance to his hole. You have to look very carefully. Do you see his nose? Until it was too late. Oh, look. On the ground, that black thing is his Shadow. Oh no, what's going to happen? Oh, he dropped his coffee too. The animals watched helplessly as Groundhog dove back into his hole. Wait, Moose thundered. Groundhog's muffled voice barely reached the surface. I need to stay down here. There are shadows all over the place up there. How do you think Groundhog feels about those shadows? You think he might be afraid? Maybe. Moose was puzzled. Groundhog, are you afraid? Is that why you go back into your hole? You could say that, Groundhog called. I didn't realize Groundhog was afraid of shadows, said Squirrel. Me neither, said Porcupine. Shadows aren't scary, said Bunny. They are scary to Groundhog, Moose said. The animals sat quietly thinking. Hey, Groundhog, Moose finally said. What if we showed you just how awesome shadows are? I'll show you the way leaves blowing in the wind makes shadows that dance. Ooh, that sounds cool. I'll show you how to draw silhouettes, said Bunny. Look, he's drawing the silhouette of Squirrel. That's Squirrel's shadow down there. I'll show you how clouds cast shadows on the hills, said Squirrel. See the clouds up in the air and then the, the dark spots on the ground? I want to show Groundhog my shadow puppet, said Porcupine. Look, what did he make? He made a bunny. <gasps> Dancing shadows, Moose said. Cloud shadow, squirrel said. Silhouettes, bunny said. Shadow puppet, said porcupine. Uh-oh. Are they agreeing or arguing? Sounds like they're arguing again. Wait, said groundhog. He eased out of his hole. 
Can't we do all of them? They all sound fun. Do you think they could do all? I think so. <gasps> the animals spent the day showing Groundhog all the amazing shadows they could discover and create. Look, there's Moose's shadow there and Porcupine. Oh, and look what Squirrel did. He turned himself into a moose. All sorts of great shadows. And they were fun, especially Porcupine's shadow puppets. Look over here, you can see. It's a comb. It's a feather. It's a buzzsaw. It's sunshine. Looks like a chicken to me, or a rooster. Finally, late that night. What a wonderful day, Groundhog said. But I really do have to go back into my hole now. He shivered. Ooh, can you shiver? Brrr. Six more weeks of winter, you know. But you're not afraid of shadows anymore, Moose protested. Now you don't have to miss my Valentine, Valentine's Day party. I may not be afraid, Groundhog said, but it's cold up here. But there aren't any balloons in your hole, said Squirrel. Or Valentine cards, said Bunny. Or Valentine hugs, said Porcupine pointedly. Nope, but my hole is warm, said Groundhog. He looked at his disappointed friends. We can at least have hugs before I go. Ground hugs all around with a special Groundhog Day nose kiss for you, Porcupine. That works for me. Happy Groundhog Day, said Porcupine. Six weeks later, Groundhog emerged from his den just in time to don a green hat. Let's have a St. Patrick's Day party, he hollered. We're all here. All but Bunny, Squirrel reminded Groundhog. Where's Bunny, Groundhog asked. Oh, you know Bunny, Moose said. He's always holed up this time of the year. Oh, look what the bunny is making. Looks like he's making Easter eggs, ready for Easter. And that is our story about Groundhog Day. He saw a shadow because he was in the sun and they have six more weeks of winter. I have a song that talks about that. There's a groundhog in the sun, in the sun. There's a groundhog in the sun, in the sun. Oh, we'll have six more weeks with lots of winter fun. Cause there's a groundhog in the sun, in the sun. Speaking of groundhog, ground begins with our letter, the letter G. And here we have big G and little G. Let's sing our alphabet song and find out where G comes in. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? So G came near the beginning. Can you think of some things that begin with the letter G? Let's go look for the letter G. Let's go look for the letter G. Let's go look for the letter G. Way down yonder in the library. Picking up G's and putting them in the basket. Picking up G's and putting them in the basket. Picking up G's and putting them in the basket. Way down yonder in the library. Okay. So, what is this first one? It looks like a monkey, but think bigger. It's a gorilla. G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-G-
Gorilla begins with the letter G. Can you pound your chest like a gorilla? Ooh. G, gorilla. Here's another animal. It's a goat. Can you make a sound like a goat? Nah, nah. I had a goat eat my hat once. Oh, here. It looks like a present, but another word for present is gift. G, g, gift begins with the letter G. Okay. Mr. Morin plays an instrument like this, bigger, called a guitar. Can you say guitar? Guitar begins with the letter G. Guitar. And speaking of playing, this would be bigger with a board, spaces to move, and there are dice. You play a g game. Game begins with the letter G. Oh, this says bubble chew, so it must be bubble gum. Gum begins with the letter G. And again, we have our capital G and our lowercase g. Okay, and speaking of those, again, groundhog. Day. Ground begins with a G, and it also hug ends with a G. Here we've got C, Bip, Grow. G, there's a capital G, Grow. Here is Guess What? There's that capital G, Guess What? Here is A Good Thing Happened Today. There's that capital G again, Good. And here's another good, a good place. There's another capital G, a good place. And finally, for those hockey fans, Glory on Ice has a capital G. Okay, capital G. Those are our books that you could come check out at the library. And speaking, if you come down to the library, I have some extra groundhog craft kits that you can come and put together. And if you take one home, just please leave the glue and the white crayon here, please, so we can let other people use those. But you can come use this as a pattern and make your own groundhog puppet. And then maybe you could sing one of our groundhog songs. There's a groundhog in the sun, in the sun. There's a groundhog in the sun, in the sun, oh, we'll have six more weeks with lots of winter fun. Cause there's a groundhog in the sun, in the sun. Or you could sing, Mr. Groundhog, Mr. Groundhog, are you there? Are you there? Will you see your shadow? Will you see your shadow? Groundhog Day, Groundhog Day. Now today, instead of singing our teddy bear song, let's sing, use the word groundhog. Here we go, everybody, be a groundhog. Here we go. Groundhog, groundhog, turn around. Groundhog, groundhog, touch the ground. Groundhog, groundhog, show your shoe. Groundhog, groundhog, that will do. Groundhog, groundhog, reach up high. Groundhog, groundhog, touch the sky. Groundhog, groundhog, don't you sigh. Groundhog, groundhog, wave goodbye. That's it for today. Have a great day and keep on reading.